Hi guys, welcome back to episode 36,347 of Chaz's No Bullshit Reptile Advice. I'm only kidding. Uh, today's question comes from Masters of Non-Existence. I have already commented, but I do have a question for you. My northern pine snake has suddenly become fussy when eating. As you know, usually pines will eat anything at any time, but for the past two months, he has only had one or maybe two meals. His tank had been cleaned. His levels are the same as they always have been. 28 degrees on the warm end, 24 on the low, 45% humidity, fresh water every day. Uh, night temp dropped to 20 degrees on the night time. Uh, he always had a warm hide and a cool area to hide in. His prey size hasn't changed. He's on medium rats. He is approximately two years old. He is crapping regular. Uh, such as it is with the lack of food he is ingesting and he's still urinating. Any ideas or suggestions? Maybe something to do with the change in season? Question mark. His last two meals he half asked a strike, missed and then became disinterested. I leave the rat overnight in the centre of the tank and he will take it, but only get as far as swallowing the rat's head then giving up. I'm confused. Hmm. Okay. So Northern Pine Snake, Pichophis, Milano Lucas, Milano Lucas. These are the dominant form of Pine Snake. They're a good sized snake. Um, when I say good sized snake, they're incredibly impressively built. Now, he's made reference to the fact that this is a male. So at two years old, he's beginning to get a tingle in his nether regions for the first time, which may affect the intake of food. And this would be uh, the same for many colubrids particularly things that are going to experience particularly harsh winters. Now, with their stronghold in New Jersey and the Pine Barrens there, they feel the brunt of winter coming on, and we all know how that uh, East Coast really gets hit during the winter. So that is associated as part of their natural driver and part of the mechanisms for being able to produce sperm and becoming a viable sexually active male. So this may well begin to affect moving forward the way that the snake feeds it isn't necessarily just about temperatures and there are other variables at play um, and i believe that people underestimate the influence of baromic pressure so if there are perpetual cool depressions and low pressure fronts coming through which are the foreboding of maybe shittier weather as we enter through fall into winter um, that these will be triggers regardless of what we're trying to artificially keep our temperatures at my advice to masters of non-existence would be maybe one that sometimes snakes uh, will overstretch themselves with a meal and they could well have hurt his stomach and he would prefer a smaller meal. So maybe rather than a medium rat, let's try just reducing ourselves back down to maybe a large wiener, see if that, that, that's taken with more vigor. Uh, certain snakes do get put off by the size of prey uh, and it can change. So we've had corns that will take wieners and then they really aren't happy with the wieners. They prefer to go back on to mice or they'll take something and something just might have irritated their gut and that's quite possible. I think more than likely though, what you're experiencing is the first brumation pangs of a male. So my initial instincts are that this is regarding his breeding season at two years old. He is a viable breeder. He may not be fully grown, but your males mature more quickly than your females. So um, I wouldn't necessarily panic, um, you know, with the head being swallowed and then spat back out, that potentially is suggestive of size. It would be strange that it would start to eat and then bring it back out. It could well have hurt itself. I mean, a claw from a rat or a mouse could have cut its throat, could have irritated its stomach lining, which would cause it to regurgitate or throw up whatever it's swollen. It's uh, whatever it's eaten. Um, suggested possibly that there could be something there. And, and I would potentially be trying the smaller meals just to get him going. Um, but also, you know, with it being a pine, with it being a colubrid, with it being an animal that naturally brumates at very, very cool temperatures, uh, you know, being from New Jersey, um, I don't think there's a great deal of harm to come from it. Um, with reptiles, 
um, the same as I mentioned the other day, that we we we're, we're, we are all pre-programmed for mammals, where if they're not feeding and taking food, the instant it's offered, we immediately shit our pants with panic, and the instinct is there's something wrong, there's something wrong. Um, if it has got an irritated stomach, we need to allow it to heal, if and 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 sort itself out, and that can take time. So if we have animals that regurgitate in the shop and the customers come in we say give them six weeks off with no food whatsoever allow whatever it is that has been irritated or sore to sort itself out and then start with smaller meals and build your way back up um you know he must be a if he's a medium adult rat eating snake this must be a good sized snake but at two years old that i don't know whether he's maybe ahead of the curve at that size you know the males, we always try and keep slightly leaner. The females, we're the ones that we want to carry the weight. They're the ones that are going to be uh, gestating the eggs and then obviously laying the eggs. They need the extra storage. The males, not so much. So they can be leaner. You may find that he's being just slightly overfaced and what seemed like a good idea in the beginning, taking the medium rats, he's maybe not so happy about. Um, maybe try a different supplier. Uh, unfortunately, I know all too well that certain suppliers will allow their, their prey to defrost and then it gets refrozen and it can have a different smell. So maybe try changing up your supply chain and see if it's something to do with the scent or the smell of the prey that you're using. Um, try mixing up your prey uh, to try and encourage a different feeding response or just a bit of intrigue. Let's try a hamster or a gerbil. Let's try uh, a multi-mammoth mouse. We can try a couple of different things. The good thing is that pines generally, as you stated, are dustbins, so we shouldn't really run into too many issues. Um, but there is a wider point here, um, which I'll just take a segue away from Masters of Non-Existence's point, which is that males throughout many python, boa and collier breed uh, species are now going to be starting to trip up with the way that they feed this time of year and they may have already been doing it four to six weeks the cooler season's coming and regardless of thermostatic control baromic pressure is on the change the low pressure fronts coming through you're now hitting in america i don't know whether you are american or uk but in america we've got hurricane season these low depressions these triggers which maybe could lock, knock the snakes off their food um, so that's something worth bearing in mind. Um, I think that generally you're going to be fine though. A northern pine is essentially bomb proof and you know they, 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 they might go through little periods where they blip but generally they're on it. I would put this down to sexual activity, the initiation of that. Um, maybe he's been overfaced, smaller meals. I'd probably give him a month off without even trying him. That's my first instinct. Everyone's too keen to keep trying to feed them all the time. That can initiate stress responses, can wind them up, then they refuse all the more. So I'd give him a bit of time just to sort of get hungry, work up a hunger. Anything that's irritating his stomach hopefully will have calmed down by that point. And then we'll see if we want to get him on the food. If he doesn't want to feed, then we'll wait another month and we'll try him again. That way we're not wasting food every week. Consider being able to brumate him or, or turn him down in temperature so we're not burning off body fat. If he's insistent that he doesn't want to feed, let's let him think that he's having a winter and put him through a winter period, which will be lower uh, amounts of light, which can be as simplistic as either changing the timer on a strip light if you've got it in there, or even if you wanted to use a towel and cover the front of his tank halfway through the day so that the day length is, is definitely shorter. And using your thermostat, you can then control um, his daytime low and we can start just slowly dropping him off. We don't need to go into full brumation, but maybe in eight weeks' time, we can bring him back out again gently and that might well be a trigger. It might be enough just to kid him into thinking that he's had a winter and then we can kick him back into food. So that would be my advice. I hope it's been of use uh, and we'll be back very soon with more tips. We've been asked some advice um, tonight. I'm just waiting on a few more details to come through so that I can help. Um, remember that the, de that the key is in the detail. There might be things that you have missed that 
those variables help me be able to put together an answer correctly. So detail is king. We do need more questions, more queries. Even if you think you know the answer and you think it'd just be a useful question to ask to help the greater community and you'd like to see the response come through, then by all means, please uh, post your question and we'll get to answering it as sharpish as possible. We'll see you all soon, guys. Cheers.